Today, we're going to tell you about the most important kids tennis drill you can do with your young developing tennis player. Albert Einstein once said, things should be made as simple as possible, but no simpler. One of the biggest things missing from junior development today is teaching, information transfer. We know from research that high-level players use remarkably similar fundamentals. It's also become painfully apparent to me that those fundamentals do not come naturally. If kids are left to figure it out on their own, chances are slim that we set on a proper developmental path. Today's drill might not be the funnest, although with some creativity it can be much more bearable, but it will certainly set your students apart in a tennis world seriously lacking teaching. The fact-based instruction I teach is mainly from Vic Braden and the research he directed. Vic made it very clear that the best players in the world are very similar and very efficient. Maybe your checkpoints and principles are slightly different, and I would love to hear how in the comments. But I would encourage everyone involved in early player development to learn the checkpoints that make up an efficient swing and include this drill at the beginning and end of every tennis lesson, at least until their players can demonstrate an efficient swing without a ball. Here's the forehand and backhand key positions Victory Tennis Programs uses for shadow swings as well as some checkpoints. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to see each stroke's checkpoints and the rationale for them. In the ready position, the edge of the racket is pointing forward and the dominant hand is on the bottom. I find kids almost always are naturally holding the correct forehand grip at this point. In the forehand turn position, the body turns sideways, the hands separate, and the face of the racket is pointing off to the side. In the backhand turn position, the bottom grip changes slightly to a continental grip and the arm straightens against the body. Strings are also pointing off to the side. In both the forehand and backhand pat the doggy position, the step goes out and the racket drops to a low and closed position. The contact, the body is lifted to the front leg, as is encouraged by the back heel being raised, and the face of the racket is perpendicular to the ground. Finally, in the picture position, the racket finishes out and eventually around the opposite shoulder. Make sure players finish hand-to-hand -hand on the forehand. If I feel kids are understanding the low and closed position and contact relatively well, I'll try to move through them quicker as to not program in any hitches. One more time, ready, turn, pass it all, you leave your racket closed through the hip. Swing like a Ferris wheel. I'll also try to announce our two ground stroke principles as well. Swing like a Ferris wheel and use friction to make the ball go up. Forehand turn. Swing like a Ferris wheel. Tap the doggy. Lead in with the top edge. Everyone say friction. Say brush it to crush it. Oh, there's more enthusiasm. Say spin it to win it. Finish in the picture position. When doing your shadow swing, you're bound to have a couple dedicated kids who are ahead of the game and know the checkpoints and principles well. Assign them as demonstrators and spotters. In addition to gaining a sense of pride by being assigned this responsibility, it helps the other students as well as gives them something to aspire to. Plus, kids listen to other kids way better than adults. So, Nakai, you're the leader, okay? So I want you to, the, every guys, because she has the stroke down the best, and we need Ryan to be a spotter. So Nakaya is the leader, copy her. Ryan's gonna walk around a spot. Everybody, ready positions. Ready positions. AC, switch your hands, look at him. Nice, Katie. You can also make shadow swings into a game by having stroke competitions. Best demonstrator wins. Or king of the hill where the best key position moves to the top spot. Additionally, shadow swings make an easy to do homework assignment. One at a time, best forehand demonstration gets a sticker. Nikai, why don't you go first, since Nikai has a, the best chance maybe of winning this thing. Um, right here, Nikai, face us. Guys, everyone, and take stock of what Nikai is doing. All right, so let's see, ready position. Oh, she's got the ready position down. Show us the forehand ground stroke. Best forehand turn, go.
Troy, come back. Switch with Evan. Troy's back. Evan's out. So you guys didn't really have your racket all the way back, Evan and Ethan. You want your strings pointing to the side and your body sideways. Before our next class, Wednesday night, can you guys try to work on show an adult or do it in front of a, maybe of a mirror somewhere at your house? I want you to work on your forehand swing and your backhand swing. Keelan, Keelan, do you even know where your tennis racket is, Keelan? As kids improve, the shadow swing goes quicker. And as kids become even more advanced, I'll do the shadow swings dynamically or not at all. If there was one thing that could improve junior development, it would be for coaches to agree on some fact-based key positions and checkpoints and incorporate a shadow swing into their curriculum. Thanks for watching and remember to support the free programming we provide to communities by liking the video and subscribing to our YouTube channel.